News aba oh, news aba. There is news and there is gist. Ghana becomes the first country to produce self service app for SIM card registration. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me let's just jump into the world. Gist. Hello, gist partners. News aba oh, news aba. There is news and there is gist. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let me give you guys the gist. Ghana becomes the first country to produce self service app for SIM card registration. Yeah, 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 yeah. You will say, Sandy, Adam, we've heard this news before now. What's your problem? What's your issue? Eh, I know, I know all that. But guys, there is gist. There is more details. There is more what? More details. More gist. So we all know that this sim card registration has been ongoing in ghana for a while now like it's not today the year i think they started late 2021 around october or so 2021 i can't really remember but i know that it's not today this sim card registration matter day ground like a day ground well will not be today yes guys and guys the biggest issue is going to register for the sim card like when you now finally decide and say okay well, let me go and register my sim card since they say is the new way forward is the new thing to do you will carry yourself nah, you will get there the queue you go see the line where they there no be joke like no be joke the line longer like it start from tema motorway the line they go kaswa i don't even know uh -huh. the line long no be small <laughs> uh, exaggeration the inside small but the thing the long way well, well. <laughs> like if you have been there before you have gone to some of the centers uh -uh, you too know the line no be joke so they extended the date and say okay oh, we extend the date even with the extension of the new date the thing cry you know they go well you know they go well so finally finally they decided to say okay let's create an app that you can just sit in your house relaxing maybe after you finish eating your fufu and light soup you are you know taking fresh air you want the fan the fan they enter your body well well then you can just pick up your phone while relaxing just download the sim card self registration app on your play store yes yeah, so and then just follow the guidelines like they've already arranged everything for you what you go do what you go put what you go press how you go do are you hey yeah 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 talking about making things easy for the citizens so guys this app is only on android phone and don't be angry if you are using iphone they will also bring it soon for you guys eh just your portray have patience right now all android phones have this app all you have to do is just download this app as i earlier said follow it boko boko and register your sim card so guys the interesting part of it is ghana is or among the first country to produce the self-service app for sim card registration even here in germany if you want to buy a sim card and you know register it and everything i think you have to look for the nearest service provider center around you and just go there buy the sim card register it there do everything then uh, and finish and you take your thing go house yes there's no app that you can come and register it in your house in no day uh -huh. so guys i love this new method that ghana has just introduced and i pray that other countries also come and you know start introducing this so because we don't want stress the way things are going crowd we have enough stress we cannot go and be you know adding stress for our head top and uh hair -huh. because this thing is a new law in ghana everybody has to do this so even if you have old sim card you have to come and register it again and you have to register it again so that you'll be in the system so guys i think it's not even only ghana who is doing this sim card registration i think i remember sometime last year nigerians were also asked to register their sim even if you have an old sim you have to go and re-register and it was a big issue like it caused a big chaos the same thing ghana they face right now i think right now the whole pressure has died down Almost everybody have registered because the way they did it, dear yeah, pressure, like pressure be what? They were applying pressure now nah, that if you don't register, whether your SIM card will be blocked. I don't even know what they said. Or if you don't register from so, so date, you can no longer make calls. Anyway, there was pressure now nah, in Nigeria that everybody would just want to get, 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 get to go and register. Uh -huh. So Ghana, for you guys should be happy that they have brought this method for you guys. You don't have to be running kitty kitty kata kata looking for how to register your SIM. And guys, I think they say you have to pay five CDs. You now, when you are registering in the app, there's a place you have to, you know, get to. You pay five CD before everything is done. And some people are saying, oh, it's a lot of money. Why not make it two CD? They, 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 they look at the economy. They just want to extort money. 
So Ghanaians are appealing you know, that five CDs is too much. Oh, if there's a way you guys can reduce this kakra because <laughs> the economy girl has to be. Uh -huh. You guys see how things they be these days. Uh -huh. So guys, that by the way, if you are wondering, ah, why are they even saying we should register our SIM card? What is the importance of this SIM registration that they are just disturbing us about? They will not let somebody to hear what. It has a lot of benefit too. If they well work, let me tell you some of them. It will help law enforcement agency to be able to identify SIM card owners, track criminals who use you know phones for illegal activities. Also, it will be able to reduce phone theft. People with a T phone, you just see somebody phone or you take. <laughs> okay, take now. They will be able to, you know, to reduce this phone theft issue. Also, all those eight test messages, those people that are threatening people online, bullying people, eh, <laughs> they will be able to track you. So you say, I did my house, stop, come and beat me. And they will come and meet you. You think before they cannot come and meet you, now they will come and meet you. <laughs> you do rough now, nah, you see rough. <laughs> and not only that, too, you know this uh, mobile money fraud. They will be able to what? Minimize it. You know some people know this mobile money. Hmm, things they happen there. Things they happen. <laughs> So go and register your SIM. If you are among those who are saying I don't want to register, hey, pal, ju just do it. Eh? You don't know how it will benefit you tomorrow. Just go and do it. Eh? Anyway, let me just quickly give you guys the details. Let me just quickly, you know, read it to you guys. Ghana becomes the first country to produce self-service app for SIM card registration. The government of Ghana, through the Ministry of Communications and Digitalization, has been able to become the first country in the world to acquire a self-service application on the Google Play Store for the smooth running of the ongoing SIM card registration process. The first of its kind became necessary to be made available for the Ghanaian populace due to the few challenges coupled the government directive to get all SIM cards re-registered again to enable the country to be placed on better scale with respect to international records of fraudulent activities among others. The user-friendly app designed by experts is to help create a conducive atmosphere and enable the public to register their SIM cards in the comfort of their homes without, without having to queue in any network provider's office. This adds to the many success stories shocked by the government internalization agenda which has received praise from international IT experts like the Chief Executive Officer of AD Dynamo Sin Riley. The new development comes as joy to the numerous Ghanaian communication network subscribers who are yet to go through the registration process. The National Communication Authority in a statement said that app Ghana SIM Self Registration is intended for subscribers who have done stage 1 of their SIM card registration to complete stage 2. So guys, I'll just go ahead and read to you some of the significance of registering your SIM card. She explained that the exercise is of a critical national interest which should be supported by all, adding that it would help law enforcement agencies to identify SIM card owners, track criminals who use phones for illegal activities, cop phone theft, aid text messaging, mobile fraud activities, SIM box fraud, among several other issues confronting the country's security. It will minimize mobile money fraud, promote cyber security, and support financial inclusion. A credible and reliable SIM register will also serve as a database, giving comprehensive statistics regarding the number of subscribers in the country and provide a resource for tracking fraudsters and criminals, she stated. So guys, so guys, if you have watched this point, I say thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you are on this channel, you have not yet subscribed, me Pacho, help me hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, let it do bell down. So that anytime there is news like this, nobody will tell you. You will hear with your ears. You will see with your eyes that, ah, news are bad. There is news and there is gist. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your love, your support. God bless you all and see you all in my next video. Bye.